Well, a project to help ease traffic flow and prevent congestion may be coming sooner rather than later to Southwest Florida. Thank you for joining us for Fox 4 News at 10. I'm Nadine Giannis. And I'm Chris Searle. Might not help tomorrow at 4 p.m. on no, I-75, right. but the project is called I-75 Southwest Connect. FDOT is holding the study in the project, and right now the agency wants opinions on how to make this stretch of the interstate a bit easier. Fox News' Calvin Lewis shows us what the state plans to do to eventually improve traffic flow. Unless we go to Tampa, maybe we'll get on 75 once in a while. I would never travel I-75 North this time of day if I didn't have to. <laughs> the future of I-75 hanging in the balance of its more frequent drivers. They should try something because it's definitely an issue. I, I don't know how to fix it, but I definitely see it every day. It is a problem. A problem that looks to be solved just down the road at a town hall by FDOT. It's called the I-75 Southwest Connect Project. This is literally the base of all of our design. This is how we started. We can't go any further until we get really vital feedback from it. The project looks to improve the I-75 corridor from Collier Boulevard all the way as far north as Bayshore Road. It's in its preliminary stages, getting public feedback on what's working and what's not. There's going to be a lot of different sections where there are areas where we're looking at widening, maybe looking at, uh, you know, shoulder use, different items, doing interchange improvements. I know we have a few items on that. Lane widening that could see eight lanes of traffic, four running north, four running south between Golden Gate Parkway and Corkscrew Road. That would be probably the biggest thing is that maybe add another lane just to spread the cars out a little bit more. And then I guess just people watching what they're doing. <laughs> That's a that's a big thing too. But congestion and other problems won't go away without feedback from you. Wildlife concerns, traffic noise studies, you know, we'll start looking at poor sampling. You know, it, it's a very wide range of studies, but we really do our homework and that's this info is gonna guide us on how to approach that next. Something these drivers would really like to see. We'll see. If they do add another lane and it works, that'd be awesome. In Naples, Calvin Lewis, Fox Four. And I know so many of us have strong opinions when it comes to traffic here in Southwest Florida. So you can do your part in this study by submitting your opinion and comments to F dot on improvements here. You can learn more when you click on Calvin's story on our website right now, fox4now.com.